What's up guys, this is Tampa Tech. If you want to transfer your data from your old broken phone to a new phone or a backup phone, I'm going to go ahead and show you what to do. So say for example, you dropped your phone, it's shattered, and you get a black screen. Even the digitizer touch screen does not work. I'm going to show you what to do to get everything working so you can transfer data from your old broken phone to a backup phone or even a new phone. So let's go ahead and get started. So in this video, we're going to be using the 4K Inikin monitor and it comes with a Type-C to Type-C USB cable. And what's really good about that Type-C, Type-C USB cable, it transfers audio, video, and data, and powers your phone. So this is the backup phone we're gonna be using, and I downloaded the app called Samsung Smart Switch. So that is the app right there. And let's go ahead and turn on the monitor. So we're gonna go ahead and plug in the Type-C cable into the S9 phone and we download the app called Samsung Smart Switch which is on the Google Play Store so here it is what's really cool about this monitor by the way is it has a built-in gravity sensor which I turned on in the settings and if you turn it like this it would actually flip there we go it takes about a couple seconds to flip. All right, so let's spin it around and let's show you all the connections. Oh, let's turn it this way. It's probably easier to show you the connections on this side. So you can spin it this way, and then let's go ahead and spin it this way. Pivot it right there. So this is a DC power connection, 3.5 audio connection you can connect the sound bar or sound system right here this right here is the type-c connection so if you have a broken laptop screen you go actually plug in your laptop if it uses type-c connection and power your laptop and display the screen onto the monitor which is really cool it's also good if you have like a conference or a meeting you just want to display everything on a bigger screen that would work really nice uh, display port connection that would be if you have a computer like an Nvidia graphics card you want to connect right here and you'll get 4k resolution HDMI 1 HDMI 2 it supports 1080p 60 frames per second and then right here is a USB B USB and another USB connection right here and so what's really cool about the type C connection is it'll send audio video and power and transfer data so this acts like a USB hub so you can connect devices right here like a Xbox controller and control your Android phone or your laptop and you can play video games on your laptop so let's go ahead and plug in DC power right here and we got the type C connection for our phone or laptop and that's gonna be plugged in right here and then we have this adapter for the wireless keyboard so if you want to control your Android phone or a tablet or laptop you use this wireless keypad as a built-in mouse pad too which is really great there we go this actually has a rechargeable battery which is really cool so you don't have to keep on wasting batteries and it takes a micro USB charging cable to charge it and it has a built-in light, so this keypad does light up. But if you want to save battery life, I turned off the keypad light feature. So let's go ahead and hit the OK button to get out of that mode. All right, so next, let's go ahead and look for the Samsung Smart Switch app, which I downloaded. And it should be, uh, here it is, right here. It has a big S on it. And we're going to use the D-pad. Let's go ahead and cancel that. You can use the mouse pad too. Hit cancel. Because I don't want to enter dex mode. And we're going to send data from the old broken phone to the new phone. And we're going to send it wirelessly. So I have the Samsung Smart Switch app downloaded on the Samsung S7 phone. And we're going to click on receive. Android wireless. And you want to keep it within about like a foot from each other, at least less than 12 inches. And let's go ahead and we're going to select 
wireless, go down twice and hit select. There we go. Now we're going to allow the connection. So you want to go down or you can use the mouse pad and just tap. There we go. Connected to Samsung S7 phone. So we're just going to transfer just accounts, calls, contacts, and messages. Hit next. Within the last year and hit transfer. And we're all done transferring. That's how you transfer data from your old broken screen that you can't see nothing on. Connect it to this monitor so you can see everything. Then you connect a USB adapter to the monitor so you can control your phone using this wireless keypad. So if this video was informative, give me a big thumbs up. If you're interested in the Anakin 4K monitor or the wireless keypad, check out the links in the video description below. If you know anyone that this video will help, go ahead and click on the share button below. Share this video to them, help someone out. Subscribe and hit that bell notification to stay updated on the latest tech videos.